Hello, hello, hello. Okay, good morning, guys. So it's me, Sean, one of your POCT uh, lead and link. For today is I want to show you how you can do a urinalysis and pregnancy testing, you know, the easy route. Uh, and then we go through it by step by step. So as you can see, what we have here is a Clinitic Stages Plus Analyzer. You've got your cartridge, the one that you can flip for pregnancy, and that one's for your analysis. Okay, so I've washed my hands, and then once you open it using this uh, power button, it will actually show you a cassette and a strip lock. Now, not all of you have the cassette test. This is the pregnancy test, because for example, here in pre-assessment, they only do the urinality uh, test. They don't do pregnancy test here. Now, some other departments will do pregnancy, like the inpatient unit and the outpatient unit. Now, first, I want to show you how you can do the strip test. Okay, you've washed your hands, okay? And now, you need to do the strip test. So, you put your gloves on, all right? So, let me put my gloves on. Okay, as you can see now, we've got my gloves on. we got both on. So, you got your two gloves on. Now, you have your machine. You have the test strip, okay? Once you've opened this, Make sure six months, please put the date um, of uh, expiration date once you've opened this. Now you have the paper to blot your um, test. Okay, guys, so I put my gloves on. Okay, now you need to set up your area first. Okay, so now you have your paper, test strip, and the urine sample. Okay. Now you go for your machine and uh, quickly do the test strip. Get that and it will show you the operator ID. Now the operator ID, all of you need to have a barcode. So before you having a barcode, ask your link nurse uh, POCT in your own unit to do a competency form. Uh, and then they will sign you off. Then they will do your own barcode. Plus they will add your name into your machine. Basically, you cannot use this machine unless you have a barcode plus you're included um, and logged in this machine. Now, if you got the scanner, yeah, and scan your name. Okay, good. It'll pop in and then you put just enter. Okay, now enter new operator name. That's the same. It's still yourself. So press that and then scan your name again. Then press enter. Okay, now either you recall a patient, if you want to retest the patient, let's say you have a patient yesterday and you want to reset, retest it again, you could do that all. But for, for this video, we will just do a new patient test. So you enter that, okay, all right. It'll tell you the name of the patient. Please put the um, first letter of the phone name first. Let's say A and then dot space yeah and then the surname let's say uh cruise u z so a cruise and then you enter and then you put the patient id okay on this demo i'll put one two three four five six 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 numbers you press enter now it will show you on the strip lot, either use the lot, okay, this one, or enter a new lot, okay? So either you scan this, or you just basically check the use lot screen, and then like that one. So it's 20, 25, 30, 40, 40, 28. So that's good, it's the same. So I'm gonna use the use last lot, and then it will show you the test itself. So before you start, um, make sure you get your strip from the uh, from the bottle. Now, very important. Please make sure this is closed every time. You only open this strip lock before you do the test, because once you've opened this, um, how many times you keep on opening it, it will. Uh, effect on your result it could have a false reading or an error so you don't want that best okay so make sure it's sealed now i'm gonna open it now i've opened it i've got the strip 
Okay, you can see. Okay. Now, you've got the white box there, right? You can see it. Okay, the last white. See, here we go. Now, make sure that remains the color like that. If it turns pink, okay, can you see it? that one, the white one? Okay, if it turns pink, it's like it, the strip is compromised, so you can't really use it. So make sure it's like whitish beige color, okay? That means it's still okay and good to use, okay? Now, you've got your urine, you open it, okay, good. And then you dip your urine sample, make sure up to the white one. Okay, I'm gonna do it like so, good. Okay. And then you blot it on the side. Because excess urine or any sample could cause this machine to go in error because it's too much. Okay, you don't want it too dry, you don't want it too wet, so you just blot it. Place it again. Now place it on the cassette. Make sure it's all the way up there, okay? Nice and secure. Now you've got that set up and clear. You put, you press the stop button. Okay? Now, if you can see, it only give you nine seconds. What happens is if you press the start and then you open the strip, you dump it in blood, you only have like half the eight seconds, four seconds to go to put the strip on the cassette. So uh, my technique is um, strip, blood, blood, and then you press the start, okay? Although the other training would say start first and then you, you blood. So depending of course in, in, in human factor or how fast can you do it. So either way, it's okay-ish um, in both ways, but for me, I'm okay with the dipping and then put it on the cassette. Now it's a good, good two options. So either the color of the urine, if you can see for the sample test, it's yellow and clear, then you can press yellow or you press the others and then it give you a different options. So depending on what color of urine sample if you have, okay? If your urine is too red, let's say you have um, a patient had uh, surgery, it will create an error if it's too red or too bloody. Okay, I'll press back. I got yellow, next, next. And then we'll give you clear, okay? Now after that, see, it's out. It'll give you the result, okay? All right, about 30 seconds, you'll get the result. Now, while is that printing, you take this off and then put it in your uh, orange bin offensive weights because it's a urine, similar to your quality control test. Okay. Now you press done and then it's here. Okay, it can save up to 700 tests, um, almost a thousand for it to uh, recalibrate itself. So first in, first out, basically. I'll just rotate. Um, and when you have your result, it's a, ther it's a thermal paper. It will disintegrate, you know, uh, in the future. So make sure when you have the result, sh either you photocopy it, and then you place the photocopy into your patient's notes under the investigations uh, um, folder, okay? Now, got the result, all good. Cleaning, please, you got the Clinel. I wouldn't advise the Clinel wipes here because Clinel wipes eats plastic. Okay, we don't want that. So soapy water, uh, not hot, you run it through and then you clean it with lint, free cotton or your paper towels, just, you know, damp it. Make sure you go uh, through your analysis and the cassette tape as well, okay? Now, you can take this one off, okay? If it's creating error, right? If it's this, if it's the strip, this um, possible potential error could be all the cassette itself in our cassette is dirt. If you can take this one off, you can see why it should be clean, you know, like shiny, okay? Make sure it's clean like so, all right? Now, if it's like dirty, it's probably the cause of the error. You, you won't get any result. So you put a, um, run it through just a tap water. Okay, if you got soap, you can okay with that. Just very mild soap, run it through, but water is fine. And then damp it with your lint-free um, 
uh, papers, the paper towel. Now, how would you slot you back in? Just pop it so. Okay, push a little bit. There's a little bit of resistance. You can press and up to there is fine. Okay, and then you put your cassette back on. Okay, once the machine has closed, it's automatically adjusts itself. So don't worry. Okay, you don't need to ram it all the way in. Just do it like so. All right. So is that's how you do your urinalysis test um, for semen status plus. Okay. Make sure afterwards you report it to your nursing charge or you, to your doctor, whatever the result um, you may have. All right. Okay. See you on the HCG. Bye.